Hi everyone, in this problem we have an infinite series and we want to know if it converges or diverges. So there's a couple ways um, to do this problem. You could use the direct comparison test or you could also use the uh, limit comparison test. Let's go ahead and use the, the limit comparison test. So for the limit comparison test, this piece here is always your a sub n. And your b sub n is something that has um, the same growth rate. So sometimes this is kind of difficult to figure out, uh, but most of the time you can do the following. You can just look at the leading terms. So up top, there's a one. And on the bottom, if you think about it, um, when n is big, uh, adding this one is pretty irrelevant. So just ignore the one, and we have this. And this simplifies to one over n, and the square root of n to the fourth is n squared. So this is one over n cubed. So this will be our comparison series for the limit comparison test. So the limit comparison test says that if you take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n, and you get a result which is finite and positive, then the sum of the a's will behave the same as the sum of the b's. Why? Because if this limit gives you a positive number, that basically means that a sub n and b sub n have the same growth rate. So therefore, if you add up their terms, the sum of their terms should also behave uh, the same. Let's go ahead and evaluate this limit to verify that we can use uh, the limit comparison test. So a sub n is one over n square root n to the fourth plus one. And then we have to divide by b sub n. So we can just instead multiply by the reciprocal. So n cubed over one. We know that on the bottom, this is basically going to be, uh, the leading term will be something like n cubed. We have an n cubed here. So this limit should be one, which is finite and positive. Finite and positive. So the limit comparison test applies. So the LCT applies. So now we just have to uh, explain what happens to the sum of the b's. So note, when we add up all of the b's, so as n runs from one to infinity, if we look at one over n cubed, this is a p-series, so this is a p-series with p equals 3, which is bigger than 1. And we know that when uh, p is bigger than 1, we have convergence. So it converges, by the p-test. And so since it converges by the p-test, the sum of the a's should also converge. So thus, our original series, I'll just say OG, OG means original, our OG series converges by the limit comparison test. Went through that kind of quickly. Uh, but this is a, a, a classic limit comparison test problem because um, it's not hard to figure out the b sub n. You just look at the leading terms, you know, ignore uh, the weaker, the smaller terms. And that usually gives you your b sub n. So you go through the motions, you find your b, you take this limit, you say it's finite and positive. Then just make sure to mention LCT applies. And then you explain what happens here, right? This was a p-series. And because it converges, uh, then our original series also converges by the limit comparison test. If this, if this had diverged, then our original series would instead diverge by the limit comparison test. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who is trying to learn some math. Good luck.